Hi guys, it's Emily here. Today is October 14, 2020. This is DSMS TV News. I wanted to let you guys know that there are flyers all around school that look like this. On the flyer, there's a QR code you can scan with the camera on your phone. This will take you to a site so you can speak to one of the support team members. If you need to talk to anybody, this flyer is for you. Now to Matthew with some more news. Hey guys, it's Matthew here with your everyday joke. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because actors always have a cast. Good morning, DSMS. Some messages uh, bear repeating. So I'm going to ask you all to please listen carefully to this important announcement as it relates to the safety and well-being of our community at Desert Shadows. This may sound familiar to what you've heard this morning, uh, but it's something that we need, really want to sink in for all students. Yesterday, we learned that a student with COVID-19 was on our campus. This was on Monday. I sent out a message out to all families yesterday afternoon, and more than 30 students are to stay in quarantine for 14 days due to close sustained contact with a student on Monday. This is by direction of the Maricopa County Department of Public Health. We are all aware of what COVID-19 is, but the reality really hit home for us, our teachers, our staff, families and students, yesterday. Sometimes it may feel like there's very little we can do to control the environment and setting here at school, but the fact is we're doing a lot to keep ourselves and others safe. First, the virus is spread primarily through the nose, the eyes and the mouth. If we're all wearing our masks properly throughout the day, we protect ourselves and we protect others. I really can't stress just how important this is. Second, we know that the virus can be picked up on our hands. If we touch someone, if we touch something, touch a surface that has not been disinfected. And then later we might touch our face, our nose, or our mouth. This is why washing and disinfecting our hands is so important. Think about how many times have you washed and disinfected your hands today? If that number is uh, three or less, it's probably not enough. You have the hand sanitizing wipes and stations and uh, liquid in your classrooms and in our corridors. Keep those hands clean. Think about the people and objects that you might have touched unnecessarily this morning. Are there other ways that you can open that door and avoid touching or making contact with friends? Third, distancing yourself from others is one way that we can improve at our busy school. When you're in a small group with your friends, you can be the one to step back or maybe take two steps back. Speak out if you encounter a close talker, someone who's a little bit too close. Back up and speak up if you feel uncomfortable with the distance of others. Teachers, when we're on our mask break, let's really coach students and help them keep that minimum six foot distance, especially when our masks are down. And I'd like to say finally, that if you begin to feel sick at school, speak up right away. We'll get you checked out and taken care of in the health office. There should be no stigma with falling sick. It happens to everyone. We all get colds, headaches, or something else. Getting your health checked is a gift to our community and one way that we keep one another safe. You've all heard me say that this year, this class of 2020, 2021, our seventh and eighth grade students have more responsibility than any previous groups at DSMS. We attend school in the midst of a serious pandemic. You have the opportunity to be kind, courageous, and compassionate through your actions. We are all in this together, and I know our community at DSMS is up to the challenge of our day. Teachers, please be invited to continue this discussion today with your classes. I want to thank you for your attention to this video. Our thoughts and prayers are with the student who has tested positive for COVID, and let's work to take care of one another. Thank you for listening to this important message. Students, is Mrs. O'Boyle coming to you from the front office today. I'm here to speak specifically to the eighth grade students. Uh, Monday, you had your first day of school and you had your first lunch. And if I was going to give you a letter grade for the lunch, um, in my opinion, I would have given you a C. Not a B, not an A, but a C. 
Some people were really doing the right thing, but there were a lot of folks who were so excited to see one another that they either forgot the rules or they just decided that it wasn't serious enough that they were going to follow the expectations to keep coronavirus out of our school. Mr. Hummert and I are not going to stop until we feel like we've gotten an A. And we're going to give it one more try without changing the expectations of lunch, without changing the rules. We're going to give it one more try today. I'm going to remind you of the expectations very quickly. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen if you can't follow the expectations. And then we're going to try lunch one more time. So eighth graders, the bell rings. It's time for lunch. You keep your mask on at all times when you're traveling from your class to the table where you're going to eat. Remember, lunch is for eating. Lunch is for eating. Everything else is a bonus. And these bonuses are things that may be taken away if we cannot follow expectations. Keep your mask on until you are seated and your lunch is out in front of you. At that time, you're with a small group of kids. You know who you're sitting with. It's a contained group. You typically sit with the same people each day. This is a good thing. This is going to keep the virus from spreading randomly among our student population. That's what we're trying to stop. Please sit down, get your lunch out, take your mask off. Enjoy your food, enjoy your drink, enjoy a conversation. When you are finished eating, put your mask on. Do not stand up without a mask on. Don't stand up to throw something into the garbage can. Don't stand up to wave at somebody. Do not stand up until your mask is on. When you are masked up, you may stand up. Mask up, stand up. You may put your trash in the garbage. Please help us with that as our duty aides and I are not wanting to touch your trash because it is a way of spreading the virus. Put your garbage in the garbage can. You may return to your table. You might choose to keep your circle small. That is a smart decision. You may also choose to go socialize with other people. If that is your choice, and it is a choice, you may walk around and you may say hello to other folks with a mask on. They need to have their mask on. You should not be in a large group of people. That is a way to spread the virus. So here is my four pointers for lunch. This is how we're going to work toward getting an A and keep the ability to socialize. We want to keep you all in a happy place where you feel free to say hello to people. If we cannot follow these four expectations, we will be talking about seating charts at lunch. So here's what you can do. Mask up at the appropriate times. Sit down when you're eating. Do not cluster in big groups. And lastly, space yourself out as best possible. I think a lot of you are having a hard time with the no touching. Touching people is not appropriate right now. It's usually not appropriate, but I don't like the hugging, the high-fiving, the cool handshakes. These are ways to transmit a virus, a deadly virus, a virus that your, your staff here at Desert Shadows and some of your fellow students are really working hard to keep out of our school. We all have to do our part. So mask up, stay seated, space yourself out, and don't touch. Let's work toward getting an A eighth grade. And please, all students should know this. If we still need to be coaching you, right now about how to wear a mask, you're going to have your name taken down by a duty aide, by me, by Mr. Hummert, by any assistant or any teacher that works at the school. Your name will be recorded. You should know how to wear a mask at this time. If this needs to happen, we'll be gathering these names and you may be called to the office to have a conversation with me or Mr. Hummert about whether or not in-person learning is right for you. I appreciate you listening to this message. I look forward to earning an A today at 8th grade lunch. 7th grade, thank you very much for all of your efforts. Let's keep it up. Hey guys, it's Cody with the birthdays. There are no birthdays today. Now to Mason with the sports. It's Mason with the sports. In the DSMS PE classes, they are playing more ball. Ms. Gore and Mr. Moore are having their students running a lot. Now on to the lunch with Addison. Hi, this is Addison with the lunch. Today's lunch choices are the Asian chicken rice bowl, bean and cheese burrito, and the fruit and cheese pack. Now back to the anchors. Have a wacky Wednesday, DSMS!